Hello, I have a trunk club to do this month and it's actually not the last, like the last trunk club you saw was not the last trunk club that I received. I've actually gotten I think like one or two since filming that first video and I just haven't purchased anything since. So I decided I'm going to actually film this one. A lot of you in the last video that I filmed said you actually purchased some of the items that I showed so I was like I'll do another one. And also, huge thank you. Two of you actually signed up through my referral link. And if you don't know Trunk Club, if you refer someone, you get $50 of credit towards your next trunk. So I have like $100 of credit build up. So extremely thankful. You very much are saving my wallet. Let's move in. So I have a whole pile of stuff here I already tried on so I can give you a little review and my opinion on it. I guess we will go ahead and just start with the tank tops first. I didn't give my stylist, it's still Carla, any guidance of like what I wanted because like I did a huge closet declutter. I have a lot of gaps in my wardrobe and I'm seeing and trying to live if I need those items or if I can just live without them. And that's why I didn't really have like, I need this thing or I need that thing. The only thing I really told her is I don't want any jewelry because I don't need any more of that in my life. So the first thing she sent me is this little tank top. This is a black or sorry, navy blue and white striped like loose tank top. It's one of those like baby doll tops. I've never liked myself in baby doll tops and I really wanted to like this one because I love the little bow detail. I thought it was like really cute and flattering but I always feel just like frumpy in these and this was no exception. So brand wise this is Socialite and it's in a size medium and I don't believe this was too expensive. This was $29. I wanted to love it. Like that is a very good price especially for a Nordstrom brand. It's always my back. Like the, I think the front looks fine on me but like when I turn around my back is like there's that like it's tight in the bust and then it flares out. There's that bump and I just feel like a little river goblin or something so I'm going to be sending this little guy back. I also have, oh, I'm not even going to try this on. I tried it on pre-video and uh, it is bootylicious. This is a top shop skirt. Now I am a size 4 bottom wise and almost everything Nordstrom brand. I am not a size 4 in top shop though at all. I would be more of like a size 6 or an 8. They just run really small like to the US sizing and this is a 4 and I would need a 6 for sure. I got it on but there was no way I could wear this or move my legs. My thighs were just sausaged into this. They wanted to like bust out and no, I would need like a six or an eight for sure. It was cute, but I think it'd be too short, even in my like correct size, to wear it at like a school or I think casually would be fine. I really wouldn't want to wear tights with that though. So that, <coughs> excuse me, was from Topshop, like I said, and it is the culture embroidered, culture? Yeah, culture embroidered paper bag skirt and it's $65, so not missing out too much price-wise on it. And then, if you guys saw my May declutter, like I did a separate video on what it's decluttering, um, I'm getting rid of all of my off-the-shoulder tops. I just don't love them. I feel like they're really hard to wear, especially with like wearing a bra. You can't really wear a bra with them, and I don't have any like tube top bras or strapless bras. I don't like how strapless bras feel. They drive me insane. So she sent me this like navy, top it's very like flowy and summery and willowy hippie-ish it's by lucky brand it retails for 49.50 which is very expensive for just like a cottony top and i don't know i just felt really frumpy in that one as well so i'm not keeping that i swear to you Actually, when I was first trying everything on, I was like, I don't want any of this because I was going through and through and through and I didn't like the stuff on me. And finally, I came to a few pieces where I was like, hmm, 
Yes, and this is one of them. This is by PST Los Angeles by Project Social. I think they have Project Social and Urban Outfitters. It's a size medium. It's just this plain gray tank. I love the cut of it. I think it's really flattering. I would love this as a workout tank, but it's too expensive to be one of those. But I think just like casually wearing this with denim shorts and knotted up in the front, I thought it was super adorable. And I have a bra that would go well with this. They're where the, the straps wouldn't show. I don't remember how much this was. That could be the deciding factor, I would say. It is $25. Oh, I can do that. This is a rib knit split, split neck tank. Rib knit split neck tank. I can't talk. Okay. This skirt. This is a, this is, would be like a good work skirt. Like it's for sure like, I'm not a teacher, but like I feel like a teacher wearing this. It has pockets and it's like a very thicker linen material and it's by the brand what brand are you 1901 which I think is like one of Nordstrom's brands like their actual brands and it's in a size 4 it like fits perfectly but if I gained or ate a little too much that day it'd probably be too small but I, mean, I think a size 6 would have been a little too big like hanging wise I believe this is the most expensive item from the trunk and it was 99 so even if I loved this, I don't think I would have purchased it. I just don't need it and you will see why in a second. She had sent me this recommendation to wear with the skirt. It's another off the shoulder top. And as you guys can already predict, I do not enjoy it. I think it's kind of cute, I will say that, but I don't need it. I already have a white off the shoulder top. I have like one left in my wardrobe and I like that one. And um, this just like, I wouldn't want to get rid of that one to put this into it. And this is by the brand CC. And it is the off the shoulder ruffle knit top for $89. Well, you were a $90 top. There's no way. That is not a $99 or $89 top. She sent me a black purse, which I actually already purchased a black purse from them. The first trunk that I did from Topshop. So I didn't need this. I also don't know how I feel yet about like the circle type purses and it's kind of like I don't know I just I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say with this I think it's cute I love this simple design it's just I don't need it so I'm not gonna keep it it's by BP and it's actually only $39 which I thought was very affordable so if you are in the market for one of these purses it's like a faux leather but it's, it's really cute I <laughs> I just simply don't need it and then she sent me a necklace which I did say I didn't want jewelry but maybe they have to put it in there I don't know it's by N Nadri never heard of it it's a very simple pendant like circle necklace which like I have been wearing a lot of very simple pieces so like if I need a jewelry she did a pretty good job I don't really love the rhinestones on it. I just noticed they have that in it it's very delicate. It looks too fancy for anything I would wear, though. And that is the Circle Pendant Necklace in the color gold for $48, which isn't terrible for jewelry, but I don't want to buy any. And this was the last couple of things I tried on and realized I really liked. So this is a belt. It's a very simple, like, brown leather belt, and it's by the brand Halogen, which I really like them. And I do have a belt in my wardrobe, like a brown belt. It's just like really cheap feeling and it doesn't, it's like a little bit big so I couldn't wear it higher waisted. And this one I can wear high waisted and like more on my hips just because there's like a larger length to play with. And which is why I am going to purchase this and get rid of my other brown belt because I no longer will need that. And I think that was only like $39 by Halogen. Yes, it's called the Tailored Trouser Leather Belt. And the very last thing, which I pulled out of the bag and it's like, that is fugly. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. This is, I think, the first thing I saw when I was opening the box. I was like, that's awful. Like, why wouldn't she put that in there? And then I tried it on. I was like, one, it's so breathable and lightweight and like flowy and like a perfect summertime material, especially like, I think we hit 100 already this year in Ohio. So, um, and then I was like, I really love the color olive green and it doesn't look bad on me. Like I've never put a skirt on like this. It's more like, like hippie boho style. I just didn't think this would look good because I have like bigger legs and like wider hips. I wish I thought this would be bulky on me. 
and I really liked it and I really liked it with like the bell and I was thinking like with a white cotton tee it would be super adorable and now I think I'm gonna wear it this weekend because I'm going to a baseball game so you know I don't know I it just surprised me which makes me lead to my last point because I'm done unboxing and showing you stuff is that if you are looking at stuff and like at a store try on the things where you like a style wise like they have components that you like but maybe you haven't ever tried something like that on because it can surprise you especially like because I worked in the bridal industry for like nine ish years usually what people come in saying they wanted they went with like the opposite so I learned my lesson and I guess that is to be open to different styles which is great because Trunk Club can do that for me. And because I'm a Nordstrom card holder, like with their credit card, it's free shipping and free return. So like, I don't have like a styling fee. So if you have like a Nordstrom card, there's really no reason to not try this. That's all I'm saying. P.S. I did do a stitch fix. I didn't show it to you guys, I'm sorry. And that's partially because like, I've always, <laughs> I in the last five stitch fix videos, I was like, this is my last stitch fix and I'm never gonna do one again. And then I upload another one and like a year later after I forget that I hated it and I did the same thing and I was like Brittany you can't upload this one like you've dug yourself deep into a hole I had credit I didn't use it I just I don't enjoy stitch fix that doesn't mean I won't ever do a video again or like buy one again I don't know okay I gotta go I have to go to the gym and I will see you guys super soon in another video love you bye